How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Getting ready. Making sure my hair doesn't look like boop. Um, I have to film some content today for Quitcher. And I was like, I guess I could actually like look like a presentable human being. So here I am doing hair, my hair. And um, I was thinking like I got like people that ask me like, oh, what kind of products do you use? What kind of tools do you use on your hair? And people think that because um, I'm a licensed professional that I use and have all of these like really fancy tools and products and where that may be the case with some of the things I want to talk to you about my curling iron nothing special about it <laughs> I'm really quick what can I say um but it's just your basic like I got this at Target for like $19 probably it's the Con Air I couldn't even tell you like what it says underneath it because it I use it it gets used um but look it does a great job You don't need fancy tools all the time. Um, and people think that you have to spend tons of money. You don't. I love this dry shampoo. It has a little bit of hold to it. It's great. So I like it, especially around my hairline, just to give me a little extra lift at the root. See? Nice. I'll do this side. Nothing crazy. It's the Marie and Neela sham dry shampoo. Girl can't talk. Um, I love this stuff. It smells really good. It makes me feel like I'm going to go spray paint something. So I have two different types of texturizing sprays that I really, really love. And sometimes I literally sit here and have a battle of which one am I going to use in my hair. Um, one is an aerosol and one is a wet spray and I prefer the wet spray just because it gives it a little bit more hold and that like salty um the like beach wave or like beach texture and it's the Aveda texture tonic obsessed with this stuff and the other one is the design me puff me just their dry texture spray I like this one but I feel like it doesn't give me as good a hold as the Aveda does and this one I kind of shake it because it's natural because it's all natural and the active ingredients can settle at the bottom. So that's why you always want to shake natural products. And I never, ever, ever, ever put a comb or a brush into my curls and pull them out. Here's why. You want the curls to set and when you remove the curl it literally removes the work you just did when you run a brush through it so i always let them sit with some product on it and then i just let my fingers kind of tousle them a bit so they loosen themselves up without pulling the curls out and causing a big frizzy mess um and yeah that's basically the gist of my hair these will kind of fall slightly as the day goes on but I want to show you some other products that we got on, while we were on the retreat. So I showed you guys um, last night, I posted on my story, that I was starting the Babe Lash um, Serum and Conditioning to help grow thicker lashes. So um, last night, you do the serum at night and you do the conditioner in the morning. It's, you know, whatever. It's 3 o'clock. It's morning enough. Um, they say... One swipe is enough for both eyes, and you just run it along the lash line. So, we'll report back on that and let you know how that's going. Cool. Really excited to see what that can do. Um, I already showed you guys the Tula products that Emily gave to us. So this was one of them, the 24-7 Moisture, which is a girl on Accutane's best friend right now. Let me tell you what. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on so I don't look like a crazy person. 
I don't know. This is pretty crazy. We don't really do get ready with me um, in this way. But some of y'all really care about my habits. So here I am pleasing you. Mm. That sounded kind of dirty. Okay. Anyway, moving on from that. I am obsessed with that. My skin just feels so good. Mm. So, some of the products she gave us. So, this one, the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This stuff is awesome. It's like, um, it's like a highlighter, but it's like creamy and cooling and so, so pretty. I'll put it on in just a few. I'm actually going to put some makeup on my face. So, I like that you can't see like oh, right in front of me because there's so much stuff in front of me. I'm a little overwhelmed. So, we're going to do this together. Um, another product that she gave us is the Tarte, um, Shape Tape Stay Spray. It's a 16-hour setting spray. Now, my coach Heather got this, um, a few weeks ago, and I've been asking her, how do you feel about that setting spray? Now I'm going to tell you because I got my own, and I've been using the Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape. Why is that so hard to say? Um concealer I used to really not be a concealer gal just because with acne it made it look like those um white chocolate cookies and cream Hershey bar you know what I mean anyway so, so anyway yeah I'm uh Mm, feeling more confident with my with wearing makeup um just because I feel like my skin can actually tolerate it now um but I I don't know yeah here we go we're doing it I think less is more I don't ever want to look caked um not interested in all of that yeah so not a lot just the normal spots. I also use the Face Tape by Tarte Foundation in the shade 29N, which is light, medium, neutral. I don't know why I just put that on there. I don't put it on that way. I'm not paying attention. Um, I did their color match, which gave me anxiety, not gonna lie, because I also do the application with the Tarte um, foundation brush that it comes with. A um, little bit really goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, and I'll kind of just dab it in a little bit and then smooth it out um, and drag it up into my hairline. Yes, I know I should pull my hair back and do my hair after I do my makeup, but I don't because I'm not that kind of lady. So don't come after me about my process, okay? You do you and I'm a do me. So yeah, anyway. After I get it on there and kind of smooth it around a little bit, I take my moist sponge and just kind of press it into the skin. I never drag, that creates lines. Yeah. Also, I'm used to work, I'm used to working with Aveda's makeup, which is made from all natural ingredients so the the way it applies onto the skin is buildable coverage um which i like because not everybody needs extreme amounts of coverage um and then i use this nyx wonder stick as my contour stick okay let's talk about contouring okay everyone does it differently every it depends on what you want to do with your face I like to bring my face, because I have an intense jawline, I like to bring this part of my face up, okay? And so, to do that, we're going to go on the cheekbone. In, you know, like if you clinch, snatched, that's the word. We're going to be, you see it? Okay. And then, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. I don't know what you're talking about. So now that I've got my contour on, before I rub it in, okay, you see, I put it in the crease of my eye because as we tend to age, everything starts to come downward, okay? Well, I don't have a magic wand. I'm done injecting things into my face. 
So we're going to do the magic of makeup and pull everything up. And how you do that is you create depth or shadows. But anyway, we're trying a new product and it's um, Man Eater by Tarte, which is the blush and glow. Um, what color is this? Buff. I'm excited to try it. I'm probably going to run out of time here, but we're just going to do a couple dupe dupes and see what that does for us and add more as needed. So I'm going to start just dabbing it in everywhere and blending it out. Okay. So the light, the way that the light is hitting my face, it's really hard for you to see in this mirror. I can see how it like, cause the, it's reflecting everything, but you can see here how it like snatched it up. So I've already gone in with all of my cream based products. Now I'm going to press in to the cream, my powder. And that kind of helps that buildable coverage because I'm not the kind of gal that wants to feel like I have 80,000 pounds of makeup on my face. So um, I use, it's like an older product. Um, I don't even know if they sell this at Target anymore. It's the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk, however you'd like to pronounce her name. And I'm just using my Aveda cheek brush. I love Aveda's brushes, they're the best. Um, and then I'm just gonna work the, yeah, so then we work the middle, work the middle, change position. Anyway, okay, another new product. So I've been hearing a lot of crazy good things about this product. Um, it's the Tarte Energy. It's the Amazonian Clay Skin Intuitive 12 Hour Blush. So it looks super pink, okay? Like I would never wear blush this color unless I was like specifically, I remember dressing up as someone in a bubble bath for Halloween a few years ago and this was like how rosy I made my cheeks. I would never have cheeks this pink, I assure you. But apparently it doesn't go on that pink. So, okay, really pink on there. Apparently, it literally just like adjusts to your rude, keeps cutting me off. But um, this skin intuitive, what it does is it actually adjusts to your skin's pH. Aveda cheek brush. Um, and adjusts to you. So, what that says to me, oh, that looks so nice, is that it is customizable for the individual. It self-corrects. It's nice. Um, that's actually what it looks like in the compact. Oh, well, look, it's you. It's like Inception. Anyway, um, I really like that. It's really pretty. Cool. Love. So that was a new product that we're trying. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's really good. I like that a lot. Um, Okay, so I went ahead and I'm going to do it again. So this is the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. You can put this on over or under your makeup. So I'm going to use it as like a little highlighter through here. Okay, did you just see it kind of roll on? I'm going to, like, I will just kind of work it in with my finger so I don't go smearing a whole bunch of things around. And same on this side. Just to kind of add some highlight there. So we bring those forward. Okay. Oh, I love how that feels on the skin. And you know me, I like to dab some down my nose so I got a nice little boop. Okay. Again, nothing hella crazy here. Okay, this is up close. Okay. Let's talk about the eyes. Okay, I have a product. Let me find it. Here it is. I like this one. Okay, also by Tarte, it's the Fake Awake Eye Brightener. Okay, that's it. So I would obviously put this on my uh, waterline. So it, d oh yeah, you can, you can see it. I don't need to get close. You can see it. So we're going to line the waterline with this stuff. Do I look awake now? I look crazy. 
that's okay because when I put more makeup on it won't look as crazy this stuff is actually really good um it glides on my eyes are really picky with stuff I put on it and I really like that this stuff is ophthalmologist tested all day wear waterproof so if you're a crier it's good stuff um what else did we get we got some maracuja juicy lip liner and then the maracuja juicy lip plump i love this stuff tartlet tarts palette um this is the energy palette really excited i use this um i used uh one shade in here that i actually really liked this is what it looks like love the colors i have like my eyes are deceptive. They're brown, but they're like almost like an amber color. It's, it's weird. Um, so I'm going to start with Invigorate, which is like this little nude. And just line the whole lid. And I'm going to pull it out into my temple just so it kind of brings everything up. Remember, we're aging. We're not in our 20s anymore, okay? Okay, that's what we're going into 2023 with. Owning our actual age and loving it. I am not trying to be a 20-something-year-old woman. I am not. So I'm going to celebrate the rightful age of 33 that I am and act it and love it and be it okay that's the energy we're going into 2023 with acting our real age so that looks hella crazy right there but i will soften it when i'm all done with everything um okay so now i'm gonna go in with a different brush instead of a shadow brush something a little more like this one's very wide, this one is not. This is an Aveda brush. And I'm gonna take like the babiest amount of this in, what is that, Inspired down here. Okay, so I, I forgot I was doing this on camera. So um, I took a compacted brush that you do for foundation and I just took it and I took my finger and I kind of just like used the heat of the finger to break up and diffuse that harsh line I had here. And then I just kind of, worked it with the foundation brush just to kind of soften and diffuse that line a bit like I said so that way like when you're looking at me I don't have this like weird like eyeshadow coming out here you see it just like you can see how that translated and kind of softened itself as I worked it all in same with that side okay so now I'm gonna take peaceful this like shimmery color just a little bit on the brush okay so not a not a lot and then I'm even gonna like dust off the excess and I'm gonna come on that line and kind of soften it even more and bring that right into my water and so I did that on both sides now I'm really weird with eyeliners I have a ton of different kinds you know but honestly I prefer to use a powder just because it sets better so I use a really compacted um, liner and I'm gonna use this like what is this serenity this like darker color in here um, because this kind of stuff brings out the color of my eyes better okay see it's just very more like natural versus BAM I'm wearing eyeliner and have so much makeup on that's not my thing okay so I will Dust it in there. Less is always more, I promise you. And then line that bottom lash line. I only go three quarters of the way up. Using my favorite brow pencil, I love it. I don't care what you say to me about anything else. You're not going to get me hooked on anything except Aveda's brow pencil. Um, why? Because I like being in control of how much is too much, you know? And I have no shortage of brow hair. And see, like, that's probably all I'm even gonna do over there. And I'm gonna fluff that out and just kind of diffuse, diffuse. I don't need crazy brows. I have brows. 
Um, I'm not trying to make it look like I have my brows tattooed on. I don't need all that. It's just not for me. But you can literally see the difference that just made. And that's minimal. So when I come back, I'll have two brows. So I did that on both sides. I just hit my nose with that. I did it on both sides. You can see it just very light, very natural. I, oops, I could even put more on this side so that it actually lines up with the other side. But again, don't get crazy because that's how we end up putting like way more than we actually need on our face. I don't want makeup to completely change who I am as a human being. Like, I don't ever want it to be like I take my makeup off and I'm unrecognizable. Like, I mean, no shame, but that used to be a legit fear of mine is that my makeup would make me look so different that I would just look bad without makeup. And yeah, I don't want to be that way. So anyway, there it is. There you have it. Now you can see up close kind of all that depth and contouring and stuff. Let me dab that out. The hell is that? Soften that. You see what I mean? Like, I didn't have to do anything crazy. It's still, like, you would really not even be able to tell that, like, I even have anything in there. You know what I mean? That's what I like. Just think it looks, it's emphasizing my natural, God-given beauty. I don't know why I just threw that. I need to talk to you about it. <laughs> this is Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Um in black oh I like the sound of that okay let's whoa okay one don't hate on my mouth because if you don't do that when you put mascara on I'm convinced you're doing it wrong this is one application this was one application. Okay, let me put on a couple more and see what happens. This mascara is the epitome of fuck around and find out. Okay, hello. Hold on, we gotta get closer for this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you, can you even tell? I am not a lashes gal. Like I have them, got them, hate them, hate them. I'll tell you why in a sec. Ugh. Matt just came in. Um, so, okay, that was two applications. Like, can we just... Uh, 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 um, so I also have some of the Tarte Man Eater. This is a slightly different wand, um, but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I don't even need this. I'm just doing this for shits and giggles at this point. Who needs lashes when amazing mascara like this exists? I was a better than sex gal, and I think I may convert to Tartlet tubing mascara because... Like, <laughs> sorry, but like, can we just, uh, would you think I had lashes on if you didn't know any better? No, they look great. Like, would you think I was wearing false lashes if you didn't know any oh, better? Oh, yeah, like, because they look so big. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's yeah. like, oh, no, it looks like. Okay, so now that basically, like, calm down. My whole face is put on. Was not planning on a full face of makeup. I am going to do the Buff Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner. Love lip liners. Y'all want to see me get some big old lips real quick? I also love that it's not a pencil. Can you see it? It's very nude. I always line the whole lip, okay? Like I put it all over. Don't ask me why. I'm gonna 
And now I'm gonna do the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the color Primrose Evadine. It's just Primrose. Um, okay, you pump it up. I get it. Okay, there's the color. Oh yes, girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, huh. I like it. It's a pretty nude. It's a little peachy um, for me with a darker lip. I'm actually going to add something to this so it darkens it a little bit. Here's why. This washes me out. I need darker colors. It'll bring everything else out. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Okay, so all I did was add some of the Maybelline Superstay Color Crayon in the shade Check Yourself. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I fucking love it. All right? So there's my whole face. I put on a full face for you today was not planning on it so of course to finish it off so i just stay looking this gorgeous okay honey yes girl yes girl i'm sorry i'm being so extra you're welcome okay here we go here we go hi i feel really pretty um, I've been looking for a new makeup brand, um, because I'm so, so picky. I love cruelty-free makeup. I love products that are all natural, and I love that Tarte Cosmetics has come into my life. It is amazing. Um, all of the products that I use today, I highly recommend because I put them on my own face. I'm not the kind of girl that'll just push product in front of you because I make money off of it. I don't make anything off of any of this stuff. In fact, for the most part, I paid for the majority of this stuff and the rest of it was gifted to me by a very sweet soul. Um, yes, I'm obsessed with Tarte. Hi, I have a new obsession. There's no filter here, guys. This is just my face with Tarte and I'm obsessed. 